हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी यूजफुल एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज वेल बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट माय सिस्को रियल राउटर टू इंटरनेट सो टुडे यू विल लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट सिस्को राउटर टू इंटरनेट सो दिस इज माई सिनारियो राइट दिस इज माई सिनारियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज सी आई एम making video through my laptop now this is my laptop screen and here you can see my laptop is connected through internet so this is the router through which my laptop is connected now this is my home router so i have connection from uh, tikona so this is router of dp link tp link this is router of tp link so now i am going to connect my tp link router to cisco router this is my cisco router this is my Cisco router and here you can see my public IP address is this one. Now you can check it as well on Google. What you, what you need to do? Just you need to visit this website. What is my IP address dot com? This is a website. Right through this website, you can check your public IP address. So here you can see my public IP address is one one three dot one nine three dot two zero seven dot one eight five. Okay, this one is my IPv4 address. My ISP is Tikona, right? City is Surat. Region is Gujarat. Country is India. Okay. So these are information of public network. So here you can see my public IP address is this one: one one three dot one ninety three dot two zero seven dot eighty five. This is my public IP address, and this one is default gateway for these user for my laptop suppose this one is my laptop right on which i am making this video right now so suppose this one is my laptop my laptop is connected wireless through this router and how i am able to access internet this is how i am able to access internet here you can see right okay so default gateway for my laptop is 192.168. 0.100 you can verify that in cmd as well so open cmd guys let me show you and here if you will run which command ip config so sorry ip config so here you can see where is my wireless lan adapter and ip address of my machine is this one and default gateway is 192.168.0.1 okay so this one is ip address of default gateway of router wifi adapter interface okay after that i will connect through one ethernet cable to this wireless router to wireless router to my cisco router this is my cisco router and here on fast ethernet 0/0 which is connected to my home router i will configure ip address from dhcp server okay so here we will run ip dhcp ip address dhcp command right on f0/0 so that uh, on this router f0/0 get ip address from dhcp server which is already running on this router on my home router you can say this one is access point as well right actually this home router is combination of two things like router plus access point okay so definitely dhcp service is by default enable on my home router so router f0/0 of my cisco devices cisco router will get ip address from dhcp server so i will show you a step by step configuration don't worry guys after that you can see this one is my console computer so i have two laptop one is connected to r1 through console port and one laptop is connected through f0/1 where i am running ip address 10.10.10.1 where i will configure this ip address and i will configure this ip address on my laptop and i will configure this one as default gateway right which is running on f0/1 after that we will configure nat over here nat network address translation so that this machine can access internet through my cisco router after that i will show you how you can take access of this device this router through internet because this 
this machine this pc is also connected through this router and this router is also connected to through in to internet through home router right so both are connected through internet so i will show you how you can take access of this router directly through internet so from anywhere if we are connected if uh, there is ip connectivity anyone can access my cisco router from their home right and guys this is the technique which i am using right to give remote access of real devices to my student to practice right this is how my paid student are practicing on real devices okay because i have lot of real devices and i have connected all devices to internet and my students are also connected through internet so they can access my router through internet from their home okay so guys without wasting our time let's begin so first of all i am going to connect ethernet cable over here on home router then i will connect one end of that ethernet cable to my cisco router i will connect console cable through my laptop one and i will connect one more laptop through f0 slash one okay so without wasting our time let's begin let's see the configuration okay guys first of all let me introduce you to real devices so this is my tp link home router and i have connected ethernet cable on lan port where i am running ip 192.168.0.1 now guys let me connect other into cisco router okay so this is my cisco router here you can see f0 slash 1 is connected to one laptop this is ethernet cable which is connected on f0 slash 1 is connected to my laptop and let me connect the f0 slash 0 with my home router so guys see now f0 slash 0 is connected to my home router right so here you can see so f0 slash 0 is connected to home router and f0 slash 1 is connected to my laptop and let me connect console cable as well so see this is console cable one end is connected to my computer number one and this one is other end so let me connect this end to console port so see guys okay everything is perfect okay so this is my console pc let me take access of cisco router let me open put t in put t click on serial and see guys i have access of my router host name of my router is pm router so ip interface you can see i am not running any ip address on any interfaces of this router go to interface f0 slash 0 and here i am going to configure ip from dhcp server so ip address dhcp uh, okay wait guys let me show you ip address so ip interface brief it will take some time just wait here now you can see ip address on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is this one so okay so the this interface got ip address from dhcp server right now let me show you the default gateway ip address in cmd so here you can run ip config command see on wi-fi lan adapter ip address is this one and default gateway is 192.168.0.1 this one is my default gateway ip address so here you can see i have got ip address from the same subnet right now guys let me configure let me first of all ping my default gateway am i able to ping my default gateway or not so see i am able to ping my default gateway yes okay let me ping google 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8. so see i am able to ping google as well that means my cisco router is connected to internet now right there is no problem now here i am going to enable telnet and we need to configure nat okay so first of all let me configure ip on other interface on f0 slash 1 right that will be connected to my other laptop right to laptop number 2 which is client pc ip address suppose here i am going to configure ip from 
10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 0 network so 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 suppose submit mass 255 255 255 dot 0 okay and so ip interface brief you can see line protocol of both interface are interfaces are up that means both interfaces are connected okay there is no problem at physical layer physical connection is fine now i am going to enable uh, telnet over here okay first of all let me configure nat so interface f0 slash 0 ip nat outside because f0 slash 0 is connected to my home router right so that's why this interface is outside and 0 slash 1 is my inside let me create one access list over here ip access list 10.10.10.0.0.255 wildcard mask and IP NAT inside source list 10 and destination will be fast ethernet 0 slash 0 which is my outside interface okay so NAT configuration is done now here I am going to enable tailnet so that anyone can access my router through internet okay so line VTY04 suppose password is 123 and login now guys you don't need to configure anything on this router now let me access of uh, let me uh, share the screen of pc2 to client pc so see guys this is my client pc here you can see this is a screen so a screen of client pc my other laptop here First of all, I am going to configure IP address on Ethernet port. So change adapter option. Go to change adapter option and here you can see Ethernet port. Here we need to configure IP from same subnet which is running on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 on my Cisco router. So I am going to configure IP 10.10.10. Suppose 2 over here. IP is 10.10.10. 10.2 submit mask 255.255.255.0 okay so it will be 255 255.0 and default gateway is 10.10.10.1 which is running on router interface okay so click on okay 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 now guys let me open putty or first of all cmd let me show you this machine is also connected with the same home router let me ping my default gateway see i am able to ping my default gateway 10.10.10 .10 .10. okay that means my pc is connected to my router right no problem let me ping uh, google 8.8. Dot eight dot, sorry other interface of router 192.168. 0.1 which is running on f0 slash 0 which is running on f0 slash 0 and this one is actually ip address 192.168.0.108 is ip address of my other pc so see i am able to ping other pc as well through internet because both devices are connected with same wi-fi router okay so see i am able to getting reply that means i am able to ping other interface of router as well right or either you can ping 192.168.0.1 as well right so this is ip address from the same subnets this is the ip address of my other pc of my console pc okay so i am able to ping my console pc as well now i am going to open putty and let me show you I am able to access my router from this client PC or not. So port number of telnet is 23. Let me open. See guys, I am able to access my router right through internet. Through internet. This time I am able to access this router through internet. So run enable command over here. So no enable password is set. First of all, let me set enable password on router, right? So again, let me go to console PC. Let me share the screen of console PC with you. Okay, so see console PC. Here I am going to enable 
password here i am going to uh, set enable password so enable password is suppose one to three and again let me share the screen of client pc so see now if you build an enable command over here enable you can see password password is one two three one two three so see i am able to access now i can configure router so this is how my paid student is accessing my router my real devices from their home so that's all for today guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel and if you have any doubt guys uh, don't hesitate to ask if you have any doubt feel free to ask me let me know in comment your doubt definitely i will check your comment and i will make more video on it no problem at all thanks for watching we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye